Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of Plant Boy. Today, today, I'm going to be telling you guys who your next lover is. So, of course, I have gotten messages in the past like, oh, who is this person? Or I don't know who this person is. I don't know if I'm going to even be with the person or like, I'm single forever, blah, blah, blah. Like you guys just always talk about being single and not having someone or like wanting someone or hoping something, blah, blah, blah. Of course we all do. And of course that's the reality of tarot card, pick a card. So so let's just, let's just see who this person is. Like all of these pick a cards that you're watching, who are they talking about? Who is this next lover that you're supposedly going to have? Who is this next lover? Uh, maybe you want um, validation like maybe I'm going to explain your lover Maybe I'm going to explain somebody you have a crush on or a classmate or a co-worker or something. I don't know but I am going to be shuffling cards in front of you And I'm going to be picking out cards to tell you who your next lover is going to be I am going to be going into the deviant moon tarot wrong side Timestamps will be below and I'm going to be showing you stones that I actually just picked off of this floor. So Yeah, I have them in my hand right now So focus focus on this intention focus on who your next lover is going to be focus on the question of who your next lover is Just focus on the idea of your next lover like who do, what do you want to know? Okay? Whatever your situation is going to be in the future, who is this person you are going to be accompanied by when it comes to love or relations, you know? But let us begin, okay? So I'm going to be showing you these stones. This is stone number one. Focus on the intention. Meditate on the intention. Meditate, close your eyes. This is a green stone that I just found on the floor, okay? Look how green it is, and I just found it right now. Can you see? Number one, number one. All right, I'll hold all of these side by side so you guys can see every single one. Number two, this is a piece of wood that spoke out to me, okay? A nice little wood chip, it's white. Number two. Number two, number two, I can't even see. Can you see? Number two. And number three. This is number three. This is a red stone that I just found. Okay, number three, number three. So, we got number one, a green stone. We got number two, a wood chip. And we got number three, a red stone. So, can you see? So pause the video and just focus on the stones. Which one is calling out to you? Which one is speaking to you? And that's it. Let us begin. Number two. I mean, I'm already starting with number two. Everybody that has picked number one. Let us shuffle your cards and let's just see who your next lover is going to be. Based off characteristics, physical characteristics, emotional, mental. Now let's shuffle. I'm gonna shuffle on my knee. Well, yeah, shuffle. Again. Number one, who is your next lover? Let's get four cards, right? Let's get four cards. Who is your next lover? Who is your next lover? Who is your next lover, okay? Let's just get this energy. Oh, we got one. We got two. I go off camera to set everything down because I have my car parked right here with the window down. So, let's get two more. Two more cards. Who is your next lover? lover? Who is your next lover number one? One more card. Who's your next lover? I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. Next lover. I think something flipped. All right, number one, let us see your cards. I'm just gonna show you the cards, okay? We got the two of swords. We've got the six of wands in reverse. The chariot. And do we have the eight of cups? I'm 
I feel like your next lover is going to be somebody that you already had your eye on in the past. Somebody you saw as somebody so great and beautiful, like you saw them as attractive. You were attracted to them when it came to their physical characteristics. I feel like this is somebody who really keeps up with their maintenance, really keeps up with their physical appearance, whether they be male or female. They are very muscular and fit and very well um, figured. I feel like this person is also just like well in tune with everything, okay? So I feel like this person is not only well established when it comes to their physical body, but they're well established when it comes to their mind, okay? They understand fairness, they understand what is right and wrong, they understand what they need to neglect when it comes to their intellect, what they need to ignore and what they need to actually listen to. I feel like they have a strong sense of intuition. And I feel like this is somebody who also had an eye on you, okay? You had an eye on them, they had an eye on you. This is somebody that you saw as like great in the past, but this was in the past, okay? I feel like this is somebody you moved on from or you got over the idea of, like you had a crush on this person and maybe you tried to get at them and something didn't happen or like there was just this weird conflict situation where like you were about to get at them or you were trying to then something just like got in between pushed you back and you kind of knew in the back of your mind oh this is gonna come back later i feel like this is this person okay because all the cups are still set up she's walking away all the cups are still set up whether this be an ex that you left in the past or just somebody you used to talk to and you're like you know what let me focus on myself let me get this grand become this grand person that I want to be before going um, to become in a relationship or being in a relationship. Or maybe you wanted to go taste different flavors and be with different people. Maybe a lot of people were coming at you and this is just one of the people that came at you in the past and now they're gone and they walked away. So there was definitely some spark between you guys. Like they looked at you, you looked at them. There was this weird knowing that you guys both knew there was something about each other, you know, all these little lights, okay? But a lot of people were getting at you, a lot of people were getting at them. Maybe this was like a party scenario, a friend group scenario. Like there's different choices, okay? And maybe they were one of your choices in the past, but you went with another person and then that other person just didn't work out. So then you decided to come back to the cups that you left, okay? And I feel like this person's very masculine. This person's very like a go-getter. I feel like even if it's like a female, even if this is a female, I feel like she has very masculine, like authoritative uh, qualities. Like it's not like she's a man. She's just very like assertive in her being and who she is. And if it's a man, then of course it is. He's like extra masculine and assertive and all of that. Okay. I feel like this person's trying to move forward and they want to move forward with you. I feel like. I feel like you saw a future with this person. I feel like this person saw a future with you, but it just didn't happen. There was something in the middle, okay? Now it's coming out together. I feel like you guys both knew that one day you guys were gonna come together, okay? Maybe this be someone from high school or just something that you don't even remember and it's gonna come out in the future. Or maybe this is happening right now and you're actually letting go of the person that's gonna be your next lover because you're trying to get on another lover. Like, what? I don't know. There's a lot of like intertwined energies in this one. I love it though. So yeah, I feel like you definitely are trying to get at this person, okay? Like whoever you're trying to get at, I feel like you have a lot of people on your mind. Like I wanna get at this person from my class. I wanna get at this person from practice. I wanna get at this person from my job. Like you have a, a little list of people you're trying to get at. So you got this list, okay? And I feel like you're like knocking down people like, nope, that cup didn't work. Nope, that stick didn't work. Okay, I might just find someone. And I feel like this is gonna come in like a, in a very uh, natural manner, but it's also gonna be, um, it's also gonna be rigged by you. Like this is gonna be a very natural encounter, but also rigged by you. Cause I feel like you're going towards this person. You want this person and you're going to get this person. So keep your eye on the prize that is for you. Thank you for watching this reading. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of plant boy. All right, let's move on to number two. Hello, number two. Maybe you need to watch number one because I was trying to read for number two and number one. I don't know why, but I kept saying, I kept saying number two, but it was for number one. So maybe you want to watch number one if you felt drawn to that. But of course, come to this one first. Watch this one first. You picked it, right? And then go to number one. 
number two, number two. Who's this next lover for you? Yup, you definitely need to go watch number one. All right. So let's get four cards for you. No, I'm not gonna take those. I'm not gonna take those. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. Oh shit. Number two. Everybody that has picked number two. Who is their next lover? Number two, number two. Let us get you four cards. One card. Two card. Three card. One more card. Four cards. Okay, I'm gonna go through the, the deck for you. Or the little deck that we got, the cards, you know. The Sun. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Magician. And the Hierophant in reverse all right wow wow okay so this is going to be damn okay all right i understand why you need to go to number one because i feel like this is similar to number one and the fact that this might have be some this might be somebody from the past okay this might be somebody from the past, you know, the Hierophant, somebody you might have been in a real relationship with, in a deep, meaningful connection, a grounded relationship. Maybe you just played games with this person. Maybe you guys just had a little something. Maybe it was a bigger thing than it really was, but there was a break off, okay? There was like this like inability to make it deeper, inability to make it more hierophant -y, okay? The inability to make the Hierophant crown you marriage, crown you husband and wife, husband and husband. Wife and wife, alien, alien, you know? I feel like there wasn't a chance, okay? Maybe someone did play games. Maybe you tried to manifest this person. I feel like this is somebody you're trying to manifest. This is somebody in your mind, okay? The Hierophant had a little doll, okay? We got that little doll for manifestation. Maybe we're talking about voodoo. Maybe we're talking about just using the law of attraction as the magician. But there are definitely a lot of people, and I definitely saw this in number one, like a group setting, okay? I definitely feel like this can be somebody from your workspace. This can be somebody you did something with in regards to building something up. Okay, it's school. This could be regarding school. Maybe this is somebody from high school. Maybe this is somebody from your past work. Okay, maybe this is somebody who I feel like this person like flirted with you. You guys just knew you had a thing for each other, okay? In school, like maybe they, they took you to homecoming or something and like now you're out of high school, but this person's gonna come back. Maybe this was somebody you worked with and they just had a little thing like always complimented you made it known that they wanted to take you on dates blah 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 but you just didn't really go for it you didn't really go through with it okay you weren't really trying to make this person a deeper relationship make this relationship a deeper relationship i feel like maybe you're the type that's not really down for like a, a deep relationship like oh i'm gonna be your boyfriend i'm gonna be your girlfriend i'm gonna be your alien for this amount of years we're gonna get married we're gonna have kids we're gonna do all this like no i think you're just like out here you're playing your games you're having fun you're manifesting you're dipping your finger in these waters you're holding on to like your mentality you're not letting that go you're being grounded and you're seeing the truth okay but you also have like your wand in case you need to swap someone I feel like you're just gonna be doing your thing, okay? You're just gonna be doing your thing and then this person is just gonna come to you and this person's gonna be very hardworking. This person's gonna be very, I feel like this person's a perfect, um, a perfect duplicate of you. This person is, is, is exactly like you. I feel like this person is very hardworking. This person is very much not really looking too deep in the future. I feel like they're very grounded. And I feel like they're not really looking for marriage. They're not really like out here looking for their person. But it just so happens that you guys are going to come together and it's going to be very um, not forced. And it's just going to form. And that's like the best relationships, right? I feel like this might be a friend. This might be somebody from the past. Somebody you know. This is like a fresh, a refreshing energy that kind of just makes you feel like comfortable okay this makes you feel like the sun all right you two are just both balanced here you guys both are just together you guys both are just living you're dancing you're looking at the sun there's nothing more to it okay you're not getting married because the hierophant is reversed you're not doing any of those extra things you're simply just living 
And in that living, you guys are going to find love and then you guys are going to like come together and then obviously the Hierophant is heroes in reverse, but it's going to happen. And I feel like this is gonna be somebody that's truly like a soulmate, somebody that's truly for you because there's no pressure with this relationship. I don't feel pressure at all. I feel like you guys both like other people. I feel like maybe you guys are very um, open to many things that a lot of people aren't open to, like an open relationship or just like not being exclusive, exclusive. I don't know, there's something more to it. And if it's not for you, then it's just not for you because I feel like this is very mutual. Like if this is for you and you relate to that, then that's gonna get that's gonna be what you're gonna get. I feel like this is somebody you're just are like you're on a path with and you're not really questioning it and there's like no pressure. I just feel no pressure. I feel fresh energy. And I feel like you guys are just working, you guys are just doing your things. Very grounded, very real, okay? It's not like playing games, it's not doing all this and that. It's like real, okay? You guys just like each other, it's as simple as that. You're for each other and you're gonna be together and fall in love amazing you're gonna this is a beautiful relationship okay i feel their physical characteristics if i want to get into that i definitely feel like maybe you have a foot fetish or something or you have something with like extremities okay like arms legs feet hands i feel like they're gonna have very beautiful arms legs feet and hands according to what you are attracted to okay But other than that, I feel like you're more attracted to like the energy, the feeling, the grounding, the realness. I feel like you're attracted to like what you see and what you feel, all the all the elements. Like you like what you see. Like I said, the extremities thing, I felt like that was for certain people, maybe a lot of you. And I feel like the mentality is there, okay? Like everything is here. There's like everybody watching from the past and you're like dipping your toes into all these different things and like everything's coming together and finally the perfect person is here. like. I don't know. Maybe you've been through a lot of people in the past and finally like you're getting the right person, I feel. Definitely watch number one, okay? Because this was similar to number one. Different, slightly different energies. If you were not drawn to number one, then this is specifically for you. If it resonated with you. But yeah, that's you guys. Very hard working person. I feel like curly hair, okay? I'm feeling like... I don't really want to get into race, but I feel like this is like a mixed person. I feel like this is very an exotic person, somebody you're attracted to physically. Like, oh my God, look at their hair. It's like how the way the hair complements their skin or the way this happens. Like the way they move and the way they, their, their dialect. Like there's something different about them that you just love that's refreshing and makes you feel like you're at home. Interesting. Cool, so thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy. Number three. Hello, number three. Hello, number three. Now let's read for you, number three. Let's see who your next lover is going to be, who your next lover is, okay? Dragonfly hunting. Do you guys have like a dragonfly theme? Just two dragonflies I just saw. All right. Who is your lover number three? The magician again. Maybe all of these are gonna be similar. All right, let's get three more cards. I'm getting four cards for you. And we got three more cards. You guys got more cards, but let's show you the cards. All right, so we got the Magician. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Page of Wands. We got Strength. And we got Judgment. All right, so I sent number two to watch number one because they were getting similar cards to number one. But now I'm sending number three to also watch number two because you guys are getting similar cards to number two. So I feel like maybe these are all intertwined or something, but if you wanna watch number two or you felt drawn to number two or number one, I feel like you guys should go watch these. But let's watch this, let's watch this first, let's listen to this first. Let me get these energies to really let you know if it's actually similar to one or two, okay? Because I don't wanna just send you to send you, you know? All right. Yes, I'm just feeling a lot of past energy. 
I'm feeling like a lot of people are asking in regards to a past lover or a lot of people just have these past lovers that are be gonna be coming to them but I feel like you are of course the the magician you got all these people okay you're dabbling in all these things okay I feel like you're very um, balanced when it comes to love like you know what you want when it comes to um, your attraction you know what you want when it comes to your emotions and your mentality you're not just going for people just to go with them or just because you like one certain thing about them you like to look at them as a whole figure okay but this person is obviously going to be fully figured for you and when I say that I feel like somebody from the past was fully figured for you that you might have lost I feel like this is somebody okay somebody coming to you for forgiveness I feel like this is somebody coming to you to like you know, you're, you're being judged for your life, okay? The life you spent in the material realm. So I feel like this person from the, fa from the past that felt very well established, well balanced, I feel like this person, I feel like this person is coming to ask for forgiveness or coming to ask for something because I feel like you guys had your time, okay? With this person in the past, you probably know who I'm talking about. I feel like that was the lifetime, the human lifetime, okay? You guys got into this disconnection and now we're moving on to the eternal realm now you're being judged now there's something new i feel like there's like new energies with old people maybe this might have been someone you had a baby with this might have been someone you had a, a strong deep relationship with this is probably somebody from a group setting okay again a group setting whether it be friends whether it be just somebody in the like background watching you school work somebody who is just in the realm of your vicin vicinity vicinity and I feel like this person is coming to you, but coming to you with like these new things, these new ideas. I feel like they have like these new forms of speech, these new forms of actions. Like they're not even walking on their feet anymore. They're like walking on sticks, wands, okay? They're walking on wands. They're walking with passion. They're walking with fuel this time. I feel like this person might have been very grounded in the past okay very grounded kind of like resistance to their passions and their emotions so they're very grounded and that might have been the disconnect to you and this person but now they're they got their sense like they're not grounded anymore at least not that grounded they're not even on the ground I feel like this person's very like extravagant, okay? I feel like this person has a lot of demons that they actually contain. I feel like this person has a lot of emotional and mental demons that they try to contain, okay? That they try to, um, you know, like I said, they're not walking on the ground anymore. They changed their actions because they realized that was bad in the past, okay? Because they were too grounded, they were too realistic. And I don't know, I feel like there was something to do with like, they weren't allowing their energies to flow when it comes to their emotions and their heart space. And I feel like now they're like, they took a deep look at that in the past, okay? Maybe this break that you guys took, they, that was, this break that they took was able to give them a sneak peek at their own selves, okay? And it allowed them to realize the truth, like what is right, what is wrong, where are the sins, what did you do right, what did you do wrong, you know? And I feel like they were able to analyze themselves and be fully rounded, okay, fully rounded for you because that is what you want, don't you? That is what you like, don't you? And I feel like this person's very hard working, like they've been working on themselves, okay? They've genuinely been just focused on themselves. Okay, I'm feeling Leo energy, I'm feeling like earth signs, but also like fire signs a mix i'm just feeling those are the energies okay i'm not telling you this is their zodiac sign i'm telling you those are the energies i'm feeling this is somebody who takes care of their appearance okay because that's what you like right you're not only interested in emotions and passions and groundings and reliability but you're also looking at emotion i mean you're also looking at appearance of course and i feel like this person is exactly what you want when it comes to appearance I feel like this person is very strong and assertive. I feel like this person is also very, um, feels very small and fragile inside. I feel like this person is very strong-willed. I feel like this person knows how to make change. This person knows how to bring change and this person knows what kind of change is needed. And this person makes the change to move forward, to change their lives. So this is somebody who's like, I feel like is like you. 
or maybe not maybe you're like emotionally unstable and that's why this person's perfect for you because they're so perfect at like finding out what's not stable emotionally and passionately because they weren't in the past and then they changed themselves and now they're a better person okay and i feel like that's what you're attracted to and i feel like the fault the flaws that they had in the relationships in the past and if this is not a past relationship then this is just somebody that i'm explaining that's that's how they're gonna be okay but this whole reading I felt that whole energy. So go back to number one or number two, specifically number two I'm feeling, but if you felt drawn to one or two, but picked three and also picked three, go back to one of those because I'm sure there's a message in there for you. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy.